Um, every day a student will listen to my app. It plays music in the left, classical music in the left ear and spelling exercises in the right ear. Every day a student will do a test. So one of the nine steps of my program is a phonemic awareness activity where I write on a whiteboard and I have the child practice beginning sound, middle sound, what's the fourth sound, what's the fifth sound. And also there's a step where I don't use a whiteboard and it's just a phonemic awareness activity. And I have pulled out my own spelling list for that. If you're in um, the Orton-Gillingham training that I offer that's at a higher level, I actually designed a program very similar to Culpatrick's. But for my level one reading program, you can use my spelling list. And also, if you don't even have my reading program, you can download my spelling list from my website, dys-sol.com. Here's an example of what you can do with your child. And it depends on what grade level they're at, if you're going to do a word or if you're going to do a syllable. And sometimes you may choose to focus on the beginning letters or the, the vowels even, and you'll see which one's more difficult for your child. And then you can change it up. So for an example, say bed, bed. Um, okay, in the word bed, change the b to w, wed. Okay, uh, in the word wed, change the w to u, led. Okay, so you see how that works. So say hat, okay, in the word hat, change the h huh to m, mat, okay? Say lid, in the word lid, change the l to d, did, 